What's up everyone, Carrot Yujio here, back with more F1 2021, and this time we are doing our hot lap and setup around Baku. Our first lap is going to be at full speed, and then our second lap I will pause it and try to explain how to take each turn to try to help you guys out and master this difficult road course. So here we are on Baku, like I've said before, and this is a it's a pretty interesting track um you definitely got to be able to uh know your limits around here otherwise you are going to hit the wall and depending how hard you hit it depends on how much damage you occur and then there are a couple of tricky spots like that turn i actually hit the curb you might want to avoid the curb to get a better exit out of there as it will help you in your time this one you can actually cut quite a good bit without taking a penalty and then this one is one that you can take really fast if you get it right but um, you definitely want to try and not take it too fast as it will slow you down or you'll hit the wall and pretty much be out of the race right there so yes this is definitely a, a, a very tricky track um, there are curbs that you are one gonna want to try to avoid um, from my experience I just I think avoiding them is actually faster than uh, hitting them and attacking them but here we are on the home stretch of our first lap around Baku and we are going to set a lap time of a 139 I think yes a 139.733 putting us in 3147th um, yes, we are not the fastest uh, by no means. Um, my goal is usually to be roughly around two seconds fast, uh, slower than the uh, number one guy, which I think I am around this track. But here we are on our slow lap going into turn one. You're going to want to start breaking right around that 100 meter board um, just a little bit before the curbs. Um, in a race, you can actually probably break a little bit later right as the curbs start since you won't have DRS all the time. Here we are in turn two. You're going to want to break right when that wall starts to come f straight pretty much flush with you that's when you're going to want to start breaking for that turn missing that curve on the inside and then getting a good exit and the power down and opening the drs as soon as possible to get the speed down here and then here 100 meter boards again for this turn you're going to want to break and you're going to want to try to avoid that curb on the right and the left as they can both affect how your braking distance and how you take the turn um, here you're going to want to start braking a little bit before the 50 meter board and avoid the curb as it can throw you wide and then get a good exit on there. You can save a lot of time. Here it's roughly around between the 50 and 100 meter boards so around the 75 meter area and then you're going to want to take this nice and slow stay left and then go right. Miss that curb as I hit it and get a good exit out of there as there's a lot of time to be saved there as well and then again halfway in between the 50 and 100 meter board for this turn you can attack this turn those curbs are really really easy to jump over no issues between the 50 and 100 meter board again you want to break not fully you want to slow down a little bit like i said you can carry quite a bit speed breaking again as you're going up the hill as this right hander is a tight one and you want to stay to the right kind of as much as possible to open up that left hander to be able to get the power down for this long left hander turn that we have here going all the way up to eighth gear and then you're going to be looking for the end of the curbing on the right that's going to be your breaking point so when you're going to start breaking there and then you're going to want to try to hang to the right as much as possible without hitting that wall and avoiding that inside curb for that one and then again between the 50 and 100 meter board once again and you're going to break and then try to avoid that curb get as close as possible you can hit it a little bit and then try to get a nice smooth throttle release onto the exit of that curb as uh, the rear end can be a little unstable if you just smash the gas and then that is going to be a lap of Baku um, and we are going to go back into the pits and look uh, over the setup for you guys as again a 139.733 it was roughly around one tenth faster than my old setup that I actually used at my Baku race, but it is much more stable and I am a lot more consistent with it as well. So it's definitely an improvement over what I was going to release. 
But here we are in here, and we're going to look at the setup. And the front wing is going to be a 7, and the rear wing is going to be a 7. Transmission is going to be a 90 and 56. Suspension geometry is going to be all the way to the right for the top two, and then all the way to the left for the bottom two. And then the suspension is going to be a 1.5, 1.8, and a 2.7. Brakes this time around are going to be 152. Since the update, you can run closer to 50% without locking up your front brakes. Or, I mean your rear brakes. Um, and then tire pressures are going to be, um, as you saw, like a 23 and a 22 in the back. Um, so that is my setup for back here.